Now, how do you fancy turning back the clock and stopping ageing in its tracks? Dr Joseph de Tori did just that. It was really, really easy as well. All he had to do was go under the sea for 100 days in a lagoon to unlock some really interesting scientific secrets and then get a Guinness World Record for doing it. It's, it's a doddle. I think we could all manage this one. But to tell us how, Dr Joseph is joining us live from Florida. How are you? I'm terrific. How are you guys? Good morning. Really, really good. We should clarify you're not actually 94. But you do look fantastic <laughs> from your experience. Uh, so thank you for joining us to tell us all about it. So j just give us the headline. What, what did you do? So our mission basically was three part. I wanted to, I'm a biomedical engineer. I have a PhD in biomedical engineering and I teach medicine. So what I wanted to do was figure out what happens to the human body when you leave it in an isolated, confined, extreme environment. The second part that I wanted to do was talk to a whole bunch of students about science, technology, engineering, and math, and let them know that science doesn't have to be boring. You can do science in really cool environments. Usually science is about beakers and microscopes and lab coats and I'm bored, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then the, four, uh, the third and final reason is that what we wanted to do is talk to all of the really great people in marine science, astronauts, uh, the aquanauts that were in there. I had ichthyologists come in. We were talking to benthic geologists and we learned how to preserve, protect and rejuvenate our marine environment. And you also had a, a blossom in Navy career. You're in the Navy for 28 yeah. years. Um, how did yep. that help you with your underwater adventure? So while I was in the Navy, I was what they called a saturation diver. And saturation divers stay underwater. Oh, wow, that was a long wow. time ago, that picture. You know, very different. <laughs> Uh, so saturation divers will stay underwater for a period of up to 30, 35 days. And so I was particularly well suited for this mission that I could stay underwater for a long period of time. And look what it's done to your hair growth. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, no, this was the PhD journey, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's working well for I you. I said, oh, look, I have hair. <laughs> <laughs> Take us to your underwater home. Uh, tell us what it was like uh, and what it was like down there, what your life was like down there, your routines and the like. Uh, yeah, so uh, these, these were two tubes that were side by side and they were about uh, maybe five meters long. And uh, I had about a half a meter, three quarters of a meter of usable space to walk down the alley. Um, you can see it's a lovely kitchen, uh, and then you'd cross over into the living area where you can sleep. The beds were quite tiny. Uh, I, I had a, a twin size bed on the bottom, but the bunk on top would not fit my shoulders. So I couldn't lay on the bunk on top for sure. And how did you get into the hotel? You had to swim underneath and then come up underneath it, and that's what's called a moon pool. And it was maybe about uh, one metre by maybe two metres, give or take. It sounds like a, a difficult old life down there, but you, you seem to enjoy yourself. You kept saying, <laughs> instead of going for walks, you'd go for little scuba dives, is that right? Sure, I'd go for one or two dives a day, depending. Um, so maybe I was in the water between an hour and an hour and a half every day, just because, you know, I wanted it to be a excursion. I wanted to go see the life that was down there. I'm trying to look for these uh, these little seahorses. Found many of them while I was down there. It was, it was actually a great experience for me personally, but I was trying to also get the kids who we were doing the daily interactions with to understand, like I said, you can do science in a cool environment. Look, at that, that's a jellyfish right there. <laughs> who gets to see that? I mean, this is science. Like, you, you wanted to see the science behind a rich, rich oxygen environment. Um, what sort yep. of um, tests did you undergo down there and what was your routine like? Because I, I suppose you had to keep your routine very, very similar. Well, that's the important part of science, right? You have to do the same thing that you did on the surface underwater. So basically, I wake up every morning at about four or five. So this is truly not that early for me. <laughs> uh, I go to the gym. Uh, I'll go work out. When I'm done working out, I'll get my breakfast. I'll go watch the sunrise, which is one of the things that I missed. And then I'll go to work. And in the tube, I worked for about six to eight hours a day doing science. So I did electrocardiograms, electroencephalograms, blood pressure, temperature. We took blood. I mean, you can see me doing all this stuff right there. So I was working the entire time. It wasn't like I was just sitting down there, you know, looking out the window. Uh, and then 
uh, we would, we would, uh, we want to find out what happens to the human body. So all those tests are quite good and quite interactive on a daily basis. But then I would do outreach to the kids. We spoke to over. 5,000 students about science, technology, engineering, and math. And then I don't know how many hundred interviews we did with TV stations and studios just right. to get the word out and talking to all these, uh, all, all these experts in marine science, if you will. Great to talk to the kids, but it's us grown-ups who want to hear from you. We want to know about the secrets. Does it work? What were the effects of it, the positive, positive effects of 100 Days Underwater? <laughs> Yeah, so the positive effects. There is some known mechanism of action of hyperbaric medicine. I teach this stuff at med school at the University of South Florida, and we find that it reduces inflammation pretty significantly. It reduces cortisol pretty well. Um, and, and these are just like known side effects, but you know, it's not even the type of thing that you actually have to stay underwater for 100 days to get. You can go to your local hyperbaric facility and you can get similar to same results in, in a shorter period of time, for sure. What can it cure? What can it cure? So this is the interesting thing about hyperbaric medicine. It doesn't cure anything, but what it does is it helps your body help itself. Right? It puts your body in the optimum position to heal itself. So if you give it all the tools that it needs, your body does want to heal. And that's basically what it does. Is it pushes you in the right direction. And, and you believe you're well on your way to living past 100 now. Yeah, so me personally, not just having to do with hyperbaric medicine, I'm on a quest to live to 110. That's, that's my job here, right? I'm 55 right now, so I'm basically halfway through my life. And I'm trying to, and remember, it's not just living this long, it's quality years. I want to keep going to the gym. But we are a different age than our parents were. I am not my father's 55. I mean, my dad spelled gym with a J, I spell gym with a G, right? <laughs> I go work out daily. I eat very differently than my father did. And I hope that that's the case, that we're progressing forward and improving and that our children can improve and live longer. But uh, these things like, for instance, hyperbaric medicine is shown to increase telomere length by 25 to 33%. So what that says is that I can replicate that cell more. Okay. I can basically have more life for that cell. Now, trust me. Hyperbaric medicine or no medicine whatsoever is going to prevent you from getting hit by a bus or, you know, live longer because you did something stupid. You know, you still have to take care of yourself. Yeah. But it is going to give you the opportunity to live longer. It'll stop you being hit by a bus if you're underwater, of course, yeah. in a practical sense. Yeah. Um, Dr. <laughs> Smart Dottori, name. you are a pure joy. Thank you for talking to us today. Thank you. I really, really enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Take you. Care. Thank you Cheerio. for having Bye -bye. me.